What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Zeke here with the Bass Tank. Wanted to talk about a commonly asked question that I, I get nearly daily, and it's, it's a transducer question. A lot, of, a lot of you guys are wondering, you'll install a transom mount transducer on the back of the boat, externally on the back of the boat, a GT54, GT56, a, a Lowrance 3-in-1, a Mega Deucer from Humminbird, whatever the case may be, and you'll call and ask why when you get up on plane, you lose your depth reading. Well, it's a very common question with a seemingly simple answer, okay? As you, you get up on plane, your boat lifts up out of the water. You can feel it lift up. And there's all kinds of turbulence being created behind the boat from the, the prop wash. So in turn, your boat raises up, that transducer is just barely in the water. And with all the prop wash and turbulence going on back there, it loses its reading. So the answer is, if you have a fiberglass boat, you have to have an in-hole transducer. In-hole transducers will not work with aluminum boats, which is what we are sitting in right now, an aluminum boat. But if you have a fiberglass boat and you want to keep your depth on plane, you have to have what is called an in-hole transducer. This is a glue-in. It actually glues inside the hull of your boat, down in the lowest point that you can in your boat that's always in the water. And that will keep your depth while you're on plane with 2D sonar as well. So this will produce your 2D sonar uh, image on your graph. That is a Garmin GT8 in-hole transducer. We've got them in stock. Now the other question is, where do I plug this in at on the back of my graph? Well, on most Garmin graphs, until you get up in the 8600 series, there's only one transducer port. So you have to have a Y cable to pair with it. Now, where it gets a little bit tricky is that Y cable is not compatible with the GT52, GT54, or GT56 transducer. What you need is a GT36 transducer or a GT34 transducer. This is, again, one of Garmin's, Garmin's newest transducer. The 36 is the same as the 56, with the exception it does not do 2D sonar. Okay, this is made to pair with the GT8 and connect with the Y cable, giving you one port to plug into the back of your unit. I hope that clears up some things. If you're wanting to keep your depth on plane, this is the way to do it if you're running Garmin. We've got all this stuff in stock. It's on our website. Jump on thebasstank.com and get them ordered. Thanks, guys.